I hadn't read anything like this before. That was sort of my initial thought. And everything about this movie sort of scared me and also challenged me and it made me want to do it so much more. Um, yeah, and the fact that it was, you know, written by Zoe and it was going to be directed by Zoe, I was like, oh, this is going to be this is going to be special and I felt pretty safe. I thought it was intimidating and I liked intimidating. It was a little scary because the subject matters a lot to tackle. So I was like, okay, cool. I want to be scared. I want to feel something. So I was excited to do it. Sarah is an ex hot survivor babe. Um, and she comes into the island. We're calling it an island. Yeah, right? it's an yeah, island. Yeah, it's an island. Um, she comes into this island with like very specific wants and desires and they're quite selfish and as it sort of unravels everything that sort of happens she she sort of starts shifting her her objectives through it i play uh, cody who's um uh, channing's personal chef um and uh, uh slater's personal chef and best friend uh so i just knew that i needed to have a rapport with him so when i met him i was really happy that he was a very chill, fun dude who takes his work very seriously but didn't take himself very seriously, and I'm the same way. So, uh, yeah, I just knew that I had to be his kind of right-hand man um, and felt right, just felt natural, felt easy. I think with Zoe, and I think she's sort of found this really cool place as a director, at least for me, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Zoe is a true actor's director, but also a very visual director. And I've never experienced those two sort of merging together. It's either you're a visual director and you kind of have to take a step back a little bit on performances, or it's so performative that, you know, that maybe the visual aesthetics sort of take a step back. I think Zoe is a beautiful combination of both. Um, I think she's really smart um, and really empathetic when directing her actors, you know, she's an actress as well and knows and has been in our shoes, right? So I think she makes a really safe set and really comfortable set for us to explore and go to the places that we had to go to. She <laughs> is uh, very thoughtful. She was very understanding of what it's like to be an actor and just communications, everything. And she was just really good at making uh, you feel um, like you could ask questions, it was safe. She let you have ideas, um, and she, yet she was also very stern and knew what she wanted, which you want in a director. You want somebody that knows what they want, and often when somebody writes the script, like she did, they already know what they want, so there's no confusion, and she was very confident. And I was secure in that because you want that in a director. Smart and secure. I think they're really going to go through a lot of emotions when watching this movie. And what I really wish is for just for people to sit around and have a conversation about it. That's that's what I wish. Yeah, most good art is that. Most good art, you go home talking about it, and years later, it still will bring up, like, I wonder what this meant and this. And I feel like this movie is one of those mm -hmm. movies.